Good morning, Cardinals. Happy Friday to everyone. Hope and pray you had a blessed evening. One announcement today before we begin our daily prayer. A happy early birthday going out to Drake Delgado, who celebrates his birthday tomorrow. Happy early birthday, Drake. Those in his class, when you have a moment, please take a moment to wish him a happy birthday. We can prepare our hearts for today's reading. Today is the feast of St. Pius X, who led the church in the 1500s. By the Holy Spirit, this Pope ushered in, ushered in many changes to strengthen and unify the church, despite many secular challenges. Today, we hear a passage from the book of Revelation. The writer, John, describes a vision he had of Jesus at the end of time. He calls Jesus the Alpha and the Omega. Alpha and Omega are the first and last characters of the Greek alphabet. They mean the beginning and the end. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. Then I saw a great white throne and the one who sat on it. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples. And God himself will be with them. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So brothers and sisters, in our reading today, John is explaining the vision he had from Jesus in the book of Revelation, which is at the end of the Bible, the book of Revelation. And in it is, it's, it's affirming. What does that mean? It is showing yet again that Jesus is the Son of God. That's what the vision was about. And in the meantime, brothers and sisters, when Jesus says that he is the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, it also makes reference to the fact that Jesus has been with God since the beginning of time, and Jesus will be with his Father till the end of time. And one of the things we need to take away, brothers and sisters, is that Jesus is with us always, right? From the beginning of our life to the end of our life, and even to the end of, of heaven. You know, there, there is no end to heaven. It is forever, right? It's eternity in heaven. But in the meantime, brothers and sisters, let us recognize all of our ancestors who came before us, who have had these visions, who have um, been visited by God, by Christ, by the Spirit, in order to confirm who Jesus truly is. He is the Son of God. He is the Alpha and the Omega. And what a unique and wonderful and beautiful opportunity you and I have to serve a loving, caring Messiah and Savior. So praise God. I hope, that, I hope that that gives you some joy and comfort in knowing how much you're loved. One, two, who Jesus truly is. And three, knowing that Christ is with us and for us at all times. God bless you and thank you. Okay, we are going to practice our SLEs. To be a person who has, lives the gospel values, we have to pray daily to know and understand our faith, demonstrate a spirit of service. To be lifelong learners, we need to think critically, to develop skills and knowledge, and to participate in the arts. To be a person of good moral character, we need to accept accountability for our action, respect school, peers, and adults, and act as a good steward of the earth. If you could please take a moment now to stand and face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America and God bless our world. Hope and pray you have a blessed day. God bless.
what a great place to fish. Oh, yes, very nice. Sorry, excuse me, huh? Poseidon, you are crossing my sea. What is your sacrifice? Oh, I didn't have a sacrifice. Maybe I could catch a fish for you. Ha, puny mortal. You shall perish now. You're going to have to fight me. Ha ha, a weakling like you. Ever worried that that would happen to you when you go fishing? Well, we have a solution. Introducing Poseidon Pass. The way this product works is if you want to go fishing, but you're afraid that Poseidon might try drowning you, just show him the pass and he'll be A-OK -okay with it. And don't worry, this product is 100% real. We've negotiated with Poseidon, and all the money that goes to the Poseidon Pass, 20% of it will be given to him. So don't be floating dead because you didn't buy a product. And take a risk, because you deserve an adventure. Poseidon Pass. Take it. You'll make it.